The segmentation method introduced in this work as a first step extracts different activities from a sequence of human motion. In a second step, motion primitives, which are the essential parts of these activities, are detected. This is done exploiting a sparse self-similarity matrix of the temporal series of all poses occurring in the motion sequence. Our first example from the CMU database contains various instances of rotating the arms and also some walking. Note how the diagonal patterns in the matrix form distinct blocks. The square regions formed by these parallel diagonals are the distinct activities in the sequence. The diagonals indicate the various similar motion primitives in each structure. Here is what the activities and primitives look like. Walking consists of double steps indicated as light blue segments in the bar below. There are five double steps in a row, followed by a transition, some different activities and then another four double steps later on. The color codes indicate how the motion primitives were clustered according to their similarity. For example, the four instances of rotating the left arm, which correspond to the red area below. This is the cluster of all double steps found in the sequence. There are three different classes of arm rotations, both arms, right arm, left arm, and also some smaller primitives which are transitions between the other actions. This example from the HDMO5 has various phases of walking in it, which are intermitted by sitting down on and getting up from various seats such as tables, chairs and the floor. Situations when the subject sits or lies down all occur at least twice. The fact that he sits down and gets up in a similar fashion every time is reflected by the color codes indicating the clustering. For example, sitting down on the floor, sitting and getting up each time end up in the same cluster, which leads to repeated color codes. The resulting clusters are walks, t-pose, some different ways of sitting on chairs, tables and the floor, also two times lying down for different amounts of time. This example from the CMU database shows some limitations which have to be dealt with as part of future work. Although the displayed activities from the field of maintenance are separated correctly, there are some situations where the motion primitives are not detected as one would guess. Throwing away dirt actually consists of several similar primitives, namely the brush strokes involved in brushing dirt off the tool. However, the yellow segment in the bar just consists of one single piece. Our method will soon be modified to be more adaptive towards smaller local changes in the subject's behaviors in order to deal with such issues. Some of the resulting clusters are walking, pulling a cleaning car, sweeping, collecting dirt and washing a window. As a final example, we show a motion graph created from the clusters of motion primitives obtained by our method. From walking, there is a possible transition to running. Within the run cluster, the nodes are actually strongly connected, as can be seen by the adjacency matrix given in section 6 of the paper. Also, from many running steps, there is a possible transition into jumping. As a result, there are many ways to temporally combine existing motion primitives to create new motion sequences. Only a small selection, including various running steps in a synthetic sequence of walking, running and jumping is shown here. Thank you very much for your attention.